Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to uh, Amnesia. Uh, previously, I got scared to death by some creepy sounds. Um, right now, I'm actually not playing, I'm narrating, because when I recorded it, I forgot to hook up my microphone. But it's still the same, but right now, I think the phone rang, and that's why I'm just kind of sitting here. Or I'm debating whether I should enter the creepy dark room. Um... He, either way, there we go. Uh, and right now, I closed my eyes and just ran for it. Oh, I did not hear that. That first time I ran in there. That was creepy. I'm not even playing. It's like even more intense. I can't see anything. It's just scary. Frightening. It's almost more scary listening to me. Just like not being able to do anything. And remembering what was going. It was a lot scarier playing. Let me just put it that way. Hey, someone blew all my candles out. I lit, like, every single candle in this building. That's messed up. Entrance hall. And then this little picture thing changed on me. <sighs> People. Stages. The statues were gray, gazing into dark domed ceiling. There's always been a red loading sign. Oh, boy. Fright. This frightening. And then I came in and then I heard the roar. And I thought, you know, I should probably start moving right now. And then I got like stagnified. And I had no idea where I was going. And then I fell down like this hole in here. And then there's all that bubble gum everywhere. You know, just. It's probably gonna be a pretty boring episode. Unless you are. Uh, listen to it. Because I probably won't get as scared. I'll, I'll get scared. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I'm listening to the sounds right now, so it's pretty creepy. Then we enter the red glowing orange. Oh, I feel like it's somebody talking. That's why I heard. So I turn my lantern off. I'm like, yeah, that's stupid. Let's go in here. So I'm just playing the piano again, man. So uh, go down here. I try to open the door because I have the key, but then kind of have to pull out the key and use it. And I did not realize that I have like no oil left. I did not realize that until, wait, a handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down the brim of his hat. He braced himself for the cavern, suddenly shifted and settled. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Um. So let's see here. And I pause it because I heard footsteps. It scared the crap out of me. And then... The candle burns out. That is like the worst time. And I look for any kind of oil, which I don't have. And I'm just like, no! Why? So, um. Basically, I'm just kind of looking around to see what's in here. Oh dear. Ugh. I, I hear chains, and they freak me out. Oh man, it's scared the crap out of me. Even now, and I'm just watching the video. <laughs> oh boy. Does see how brave I am. Not much. Then flashback. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> That's a very nice Baron. Very polite. Leaving them wine. There's good. Good wine. So then I enter in here, and uh, I run for it, and I should have picked up that bottle now that I think about it. Maybe I should play, the, play this again. I get to light that up, and then there's torture tools. Oh, nice. That's encouraging. Then we're open. And I thought I heard something. Oh, man. This is freakier than I remember. I don't know. I didn't hear half of these footsteps that I'm hearing now. Oh no, I don't like this part. No, don't go in there, man. Don't do it. Shh. Oh, snap. Oh. So basically, I just kind of sat, sat in this corner thing. Waiting for the demon to go away. 
so I'm actually going to make it skip right about now. And right now, I kind of cut up so we can uh, get get moving with this thing. I start actually getting brave enough to peek around the edge. And those chains are just terrifying the crap out of me because I'm pretty sure they're demon chains. Little did I know that there was chains hanging from the roof. Hanging from the roof was a body. At least it looked, it looked like a body. Pretty. And then I heard the footsteps, and you know, you know, just from there, it just scared the crap out of me. See, there's the body. Or whatever it is, maybe the pig or something. Maybe it's not anything, maybe it's just a, maybe I was just imagining imag things. I doubt it. Ah, uh, no. Then basically I opened the door. And I got brave enough to enter. Just kind of run in there. And then flashback! What's happening? Oh, it feels scary like flash. My chest is going to burst! The chest is going to burst. My god! Wilhelm, do something! Except him. We're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. And that, that, that happens. So I was pretty happy for those flashbacks. Because they meant I didn't have to do anything. What is on the ground? It's just disgusting. I was hoping there'd be oil in there. You know, there never is. What it is? That is brain. Ew. There's a bottle, and I'm like, hey, let's throw this into another room. That's smart. Just to make sure there's nothing in there. Well, I guess it was kind of smart. Just to make sure there was nothing in there scary. There's footsteps, man. This is like, yes, no. Something that will save my life. And then I thought that was oil for a second. And I'm like, oh no, that's that thing. So basically, I read this. My name is Wilhelm Halter Garrick. There are my, these are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the Castle Brandenburg as most of and said, as aristocracy. I was curious about what this was supposed to knight of the order could want from. I accepted the invitation. Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with. Dear, with during my time as a soldier, I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've been brought men and women and children to Brandenburg. I can't remember the numbers, for there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he un in insisted that we join toast, wine tasted fine, my men drank without restraint. So begins punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has pierced their, by, by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes. I can no longer... That little glitch was, um... I can no longer and then dies. But the glitch was, uh... My timer ran out, so, uh... Do it again. So then I light this up. I and then I say this is too, too scary. And I pause it and say, click the annotation that's somewhere on the screen to go to the next video or the previous video if you've seen it. Subscribe and thumbs up this video. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Goodbye.